And so they had to take time figuring out how to get through two different fences. They never even considered that their services might ever be needed. And the reason that law enforcement officers probably stayed inside the building if they weren't deliberately in on a plot to assassinate the president, the future president, the former president, was that uh, it was a hot day and they had air conditioning inside the building. So they encountered the shooter while he was on that roof. The gunman turned around and pointed his rifle directly at the officer, so the officer fell back down to avoid getting shot in the face. That's when the shooter took aim and fired at Trump. Now, Fox News spoke with Bill Gage. He's a 13-year veteran of the Secret Service, and Bill said, quote, Just because someone's on a roof doesn't mean the counter-sniper guys can just open fire. They operate under Graham v. Connor use of force rules. So what that means is that legally they would have to have perceived a threat in order to pull triggers and not end up getting thrown into jail potentially later. So people are going to be asking questions about the rules of engagement, use of force. Should that change? or should the Secret Service be given more resources? As more information is coming out, we're learning that there may have been total- Why give more resources to an organization that deliberately assigns you incompetent officers, right? You can give more resources all day long to incompetent forms of government. It doesn't make them competent. How about using those resources to allow Donald Trump to hire private security because the security afforded to him by Joe Biden simply cannot be trusted? of four counter sniper teams in place throughout the rally. Reports indicate that one team was located on the building behind Trump, another team was located closer to the crowd. It's unclear which team effectively engaged the shooter at this point. Another team of police were said to have been actually located inside the building that the shooter was on, which somehow makes all of this worse. I sound like a Monday morning quarterbacking here, but it's something we did in the Army after every mission I went on in Iraq that a lot of you will probably be familiar with is an after-action report. Okay, so Stephen James makes some good points. I'm a six-foot kickboxer. I wouldn't expect to get a job on his close protection detail. It should be six by six dudes, right, each twice my weight. Very least, they should have pulled Donald Trump off the stage and they figured out what this guy was doing. This makes no sense. Right? The only way this makes sense is if this was deliberate on the part of the Biden administration. I'm not saying that's true. I'm saying that's the only way right now, given what we know, that we have an explanation that makes sense. Now, we, we very likely to find information that uh, invalidates that hypothesis. Right now, though, it's the one that makes the most sense. AA